Right. So the Adeptus Custodes uh, have been introduced now. Uh, they can be any gender. Okay. They've been introduced. Um, shall we? Shall we have a look? I think we shall. Uh, it's boy howdy. Boy, this is official. Protocols require you to look me in the eye as you deny our request for reinforcements. I am here as the Emperor's voice to command you to obedience. You will obey it. You will obey it. Hopefully you could all hear that. It's quite it is quite low volume. I can't do anything about that, I'm afraid, guys. Turn your volume right up. Okay. This is Games Workshop telling their you know consumers you will you will like this you will like it like there is no you will like it guys um so if you didn't hear it me and culture are going to stay very quiet and we're going to play it again but turn your volume all the way up and we're going to play it one more time so to turn the volume all the way up this is a brand new woman adeptus custodes okay brand new they don't do that's not that's not new it's not something they should be doing but this is new turn the volume all the way up and just listen do your protocols require you to look me in the eye as you deny our request for reinforcements i am here as the emperor's voice to command you to obedience you will obey it to command you to obedience you will obey it it's like, all right, mate, calm down. Fucking, it's ma'am. <sighs> Look at the physiognomy on it. She's more butch than I am. That's saying something. All right, I've got, I, you know, I'm, I'm a relatively masculine looking bloke. But that is something else. That is something else. Look at the jawline, the cheekbone. You will obey it. Yeah, somebody Star Wars outlawed this. Fucking no, they didn't, mate. I don't think there was anyone hot that they were modelling this off. They wanted this to be shit from the start. Anyway, this is Games Workshop for you. Games Workshop introduces... Uh, why are they doing this? Do you not understand that people have 3D printers and that 3D printer will go brrr? Like, for, come on now. So Games Workshop introduces new female Adeptus Custodes into Warhammer and asserts that Custodes can be any gender. Which, just as an FYI, by the very virtue of stating that it can be any gender, okay, acknowledges the woke um, dialogue, that woke ideology that genders are, again, more than two as well, right? That's just any, because otherwise it would be either gender, right? A custodian could be either gender. No, 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 no. The language is any gender. So they're fully absorbing the woke doctrine and spewing it out in garbage mode for Warhammer 40k. So let's have a watch. Let's have a look at this. So they, 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 look at this. So this this is that thing that we just watched, by the way. Look at the start. These, these are men, by the way. Look at it. Uh, Games Workshop announced that it introduced a new female Adeptus Custodes into Warhammer 40k as part of its The Tithes animated series. So it's official. And Games Workshop says the following. Tyrith Shiva Kyrus has the privilege of being our first portrayal of a female custodian guard since the recent revelation that custodians can be any gender. This fact came as a real surprise to many since it wasn't something previously explored. Yeah, your customers were pretty surprised. That, in and of itself, isn't a particularly unusual thing for Warhammer 40k and its lore. There are simply loads of things the Warhammer studios have never expressly stated, whether that's ruling them in or out. More gaslighting. Since the earliest conversations about bringing the Horus heresy to the tabletop and black library fiction, the exact nature of the custodians has been under discussion. After all, their origins and means of creation, unlike, for example, the legions Adeptus Astartes, are shrouded in mystery. A significant advantage to this portrayal is that it helps us to address a common misconception that the custodians are just bigger, better space marines. They aren't. Space Marines were made through industrialized ritual to be mass-produced brute force weapons of conquest. And even 10,000 years after their creation, draped in self-assigned glory, that's still true, uh, true of them at their core. Each custodian, on the other hand, is unique, painstaking, so they're better, so the females are better, painstakingly made through peerless craft and arcane artifice. Their physique, 
Their psyche, their very soul, is a bespoke instrument of the emperor they unquestioningly serve. Uh, but we we know a lot about space marines, relatively speaking. But there is still so much we don't know about the custodians, particularly in Warhammer 40k, and their recruitment process is the least of these mysteries. What exactly are they up to in the 41st millennium? What was their motive for joining the Indomitus Crusade? What do they really think of Gulliman? What secret weapons do they have sequestered away in their armory vaults on terror? What does loyalty mean in a galaxy where the master you failed is silent and you despise what his empire has become? I mean, this is just dog shit. Anyway, um, yeah, they say a little bit more. This, uh, this I thought was funny. We sometimes call these gaps, and they are quite intentional. They let you as collectors, players, and fans fill the spaces with your own character stories and narratives, making the Warhammer hobby truly yours. If it's not, though, is it? Because pretty much every single fan of Warhammer was like, whoa, that's a shit idea. And they were like, silence, you bigot. Love the woman, bigot. And then they gave us this. Protocols require you to look me in the eyes. You deny our request for reinforcements. I am here as the Emperor's voice to command you to obedience. You will obey it. Fuck it out. Um. Anyway, this is shit. Yeah, I, I, I don't have words for this. Um. When this when this came down yesterday, I was like, I don't even know how to cover this. Because did you just... see did you see the little video as well or not? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, so I, bad, isn't it? Yeah, you I, will obey it. I mean, I just I don't I don't know how to do a video on this without like not yelling, and because I don't like to do that. I don't like to have you know hyperbolic reactions to things. But this is so disgusting, um, and and frustrating. I mean, look. I mean, oh, if I you laughed at my video. I, I'm sure, but I mean, if you want to, if you want to do this to a hobby, build your own hobby. Build an offshoot. Build, you know, Warhammer, you know, 100k. Do do something different. But no, you're gonna come in and foist this garbage on the people who've been supporting you and put you in the position to be successful in the first place. Whatever happens to you next, Games Workshop, you deserve. Because the fans have been telling you for two years now to don't even try to do this. And now it's codified. Yeah, they already have Sisters of Battle. They're already badass. And uh, there was no reason to do this. No reason. And 3D printer go brr. Yeah, 3D printer go brr. I've showed off my 3D printer a few times, or one of them actually, a few times on this. And uh, I can tell you that, um, you know, I may start a, a business out of printing miniatures for people because it, it would make a lot of money. I mean, they overprice everything. How much money does it? Yeah, how much money does it cost? See, there's a Warhammer fan. How much does it cost uh, to go and buy and paint a set? I mean, it, you know, it costs you a lot to get mm. a full to get a full complement together. Right. And and oh, yeah, I mean, hundreds. I mean, thousands of dollars in, in certain yeah. cases, right? So, I mean, by the time you're board ready to play, and you probably have hundreds, hundreds of hours into it too with all the painting and everything else that you do, mm. the customization that you do, you know? I just, what do you... I, now you just feel fully betrayed, right? All that capital and time wasted on a game that decided to upend its canon or a fractional tiny piece of shit audience. That's not good. Well, the, the modern the modern audience doesn't exist. Stop trying to appeal to them. Yeah. They don't exist. Like, what are you doing? I don't get it. Like, I've never understood it. It's so bizarre. So, so very bizarre. Um, And you know what? It's not going very well for them either. Yeah. Because their stock's down anyway. Yeah, you know it's not down massively, but it's not exactly been doing great. It's not doing gangbusters, is it? Five days, it's down over a month. Yeah, it might be up a little bit. Six months, yeah, but one day, nah, five, nah. You know, when you start releasing these things, when was the lead up to this stuff as well? 
I mean, it's so volatile. You know, a whole year. This is volatile as piss, man. Five years. Da, 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 da. There's somewhere where they got a big boost from. Um, what's it called? Uh, BlackRock, isn't it? I swear, one of their main investors is BlackRock. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, around over, here. I think. Over. Yeah. Over a lifetime. I mean, look. Look at it. It, yeah. it, it was very flat through 2015, right? And it didn't get oh, yeah, the so, yeah, 2015 was just dead. Like yeah. it, was, it was about what you kind of yeah. expect. But then all things. of a sudden you get this explosive growth, mm. you know, and yeah, I mean. That's not natural. Nope. Is it? No. Like the popularity of the. That's not natural. For it to go like that, that does seem very bizarre. But then it, it crashed anyway, created yeah. in 2020s, 2022s. Well, How I mean, bizarre! You, you, well, people couldn't go. People couldn't go and pick up the the, the stuff because they were being actively. Oh blocked. yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. yeah, volatile stuff. Not good. I don't know. I just don't say. Why would you do this? Like it's just not like. Yeah, I don't know. Garbage. Just garbage. Absolute garbage. 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 Mm. You're a super chat from Marshmallow. Why can't men be men and women be women? Well, that's just because you're a bigot, Marshmallow. All right? You think that because you're a bigot? Just as an FYI? You bigot? <laughs> it's a joke. Obviously not a bigot. Um, yeah, dub. This is all dub. Anything else? Well, I mean, of the 132, or excuse me, 123 institutional owners, um, a lot of these uh, investment portfolios are part of a uh, of, of the, the 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 DEI ESG, like their mm -hmm. funds, so in ETFs and so on and so forth. As I scroll through, I'm like, all right, well, Vanguard, of course, and Alliance, and Fidelity, and you know, a lot of these big these big ones. There, there's some on here that are not labeled as BlackRock, but are actual mm. BlackRock funds. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is 100 percent, um, you know, institutionally held at this mm. point. In fact, right now, um, uh, small cap world fund owns the most shares, 811 thousand shares. Uh, Br Bridge Builder is exactly what you think it is. Um, they own 428,000 shares. Hmm. So, I mean, that's quite a bit. I mean, some of these are like substantial investments and they're all, all um, these DEI market funds. It's pretty wild. Well, anyway, look, I just think in a, in a society where we've got 3D printers, you should probably be a bit nicer to your um, yeah. customer base. So there you go, ladies and gents. We will move on now.